Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, let's take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Lil Mammoth. So I swapped out the I don't know blanket cover, whatever you want to call it, on this. Um, it was just driving me nuts. So I just cut open an old uh, refrigerated bag and. Uh, made it to be the same you know size as this so all right let's see what we got so I do kind of sometimes put clippings in here as well so that's that what that stuff is on the top it's a your uh, garlic that didn't make the cut for getting planted. Mango seed. I'm not really into it yet. Let's look and see how they're doing with the stuff we gave them last time. It's been over a week. Had a problem with my computer. Actually, it's not a problem. I ran out of memory. Um, for those of you that also have channels, what do you do with all of your, your video that you want to keep for clips later and stuff? Uh, I had to transfer mine to a different um, off-storage device. Um, Alright, so let's look and see. We have those garlic braids. Yeah, that's what this is. They are really enjoying it. It, I didn't believe that it would be this papery by now. They're all in it. Look at that. Nice. I think I put quite a few in here. So they are liking that for sure. Let's see what else. I know that give it quite a bit of water last time. Another part of the garlic um, braid. Moisture feels nice now in here. Um, this edge here is what the garlic braid looked like when I first put it in here. And they are really, really knocking it out. But that is that is a trait of the African nightcrawlers is that they really do love their carbon. So right there you can see what they've done so far on that braid. It's pretty amazing. Oh, wait, forgot the pineapple. Let's see what they're doing to the pineapple. They are loving it. So are the mites. I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. But yeah, all the bedding is looking pretty good and I'll dig down here just a little bit to see how the moisture is doing a little deeper so yeah it's still doing good so that I guess was the the trick so I'm gonna put these braids off to the side a little bit make sure I don't lose track of them Oh, there's the zip tie that was holding the braids together. Had them hung up till they got to a good storage moisture. Yeah, that's looking good. Just want to make sure that I'm getting everything here. Yeah, they're working through the bedding very quickly. Get that avocado peel. Check this far side here. That looks that looks like they're doing a good job. So I'll pick the
clippings from my plants, stick them in here, get them buried, that way they can get at them a little bit. This is a little bit of juniper uh, for one of my bonsais. So let's see if how well they do eating that. That's going to be, I think, tougher, I mean, because junipers are pretty pest resistant. So let me get everything nestled in down here, and then I'll put today's feeding on top. Okay, I meant to do this a couple days ago, but here's the rest of the pineapple. Um, this has been frozen and thawed, so we'll see how they do on the rest of this pineapple. They seem to be liking the top of it very well, so um, I would expect that they do much better even with this, because there's a lot of the flesh still left on that. This is the core, and then of course this is the outside edge, and what would a feeding be without an avocado? So I'm going to cover them up with some more of the bedding. And I don't think I need to add water. I think, I think we're doing good here. Just make sure everything's kind of buried. Just wanted to make sure I checked everything. All right. Well, that is it for the African Nightcrawlers. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my warm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.